and we're seeing the final three k's here with around 15 riders maybe 18 max i think in this front group Juanpe Lopez is on the way to taking a general classification, the first of his career. He'll be just the second ever Spaniard to win this race down the years in almost 50 editions. And those riders on the road are looking for one final victory. Pelizzari now goes again, and he's being followed, he's being marked. The rider who's doing the marking, I tell you, is Michael Stora. Ho, 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 ho. Stage win up for grabs. This messing about as if Coppola ride is in the background, just coming across. By Pantera goes on the left hand side. Yeah, this is Aurelien Barrepad, stage winner at the Giro last year. That's Torsten Tren on his wheel. Two riders not involved in the general classification. Poles, poles on the wheel, sorry, Rob. Trains in that little group behind with uh, Geraint Thomas. There's Juan Pe Lopez. Sitting at the back, visible. Can see everything in front of him, can see attacks come in response to them if he chooses to. Another chance of a stage victory, but the main goal is getting across that line with these guys. Not only any time let's go, not having any crashes now coming into the final. Oh, it's KG. Geraint Thomas back with uh, Ono. It's not Geraint Thomas, sorry. It's Rodriguez. Oscar Rodriguez, yep. Oscar Rodriguez of Ineos Grenadiers in Spain. One rider on his wheel. A rider on his wheel from Poltico Meta is Davide Piganzoli. Another young talent from Italy. Keep your eyes on Filippo Zane. He's kept himself quiet today, followed for a lot of the day. He's there, fourth wheel, orange helmet on. He's got that orange, blue and white jersey of Jaco Lula on his back. They already have one stage win this week, don't they? From the breakaway through Alex De Marchi. Uphill now towards the line in Levico Terme as Pellizzari pops off the front again. He keeps going and going and going, doesn't he? He doesn't want to bring this to a group sprint. He knows the quality and how fast a lot of these riders are. Oh, He's going to be Stora. next to go. Well, Stora, isn't it? Tudor Pro Cycling want more. It's an abortive attempt, though, because Pauls is right on his wheel. Balde follows third. O'Connor, Tiberi, Zana. Tossing Tulane coming up mm. on the left hand side. And now he will go. And he's not a man to watch in the GC. We've got to one kilometre to go now. And Torsten Tren up there. He's had success in this race before as well. Second on a stage, wasn't he, last year, and that helped him earn his contract after an awful time of it away, battling cancer. Here he is for his new team, Bahrain. That attack is brought back. Aurelien Barrepan to the rider on the left-hand side. Oscar Rodriguez is in there with the number six on his back, looking to add to that single win in his career, that Vuelta España stage, just a few years ago. Now, this is, you say, a lead-out, 600 metres to go. It is yeah, Torsten Tren at the front. On the wheel there, you can see Aurelien Paribin. Keep your eyes on Roman Bardet, fourth wheel. It's what pulls their third wheel. Fifth wheel again for Bahrain is Antonio Tiberi. Juanpe Lopez in the green jersey. Job for him done as long as he finishes this race now in the final 400 metres. Twisting and turning to the line. They come into the final sprint now. And through the centre, it is Walt Pouls. Aurelien Paripin just behind him. Just alongside on the left-hand side, you can see Roman Bardet as well. Uphill to the line here as Rodriguez tries to move up with Stora. Look at Aurelien Paripin coming through the centre. Left-hand side, Decathlon looking for yet another win. They've had their best start in the season for a long, long time. And they're trying to continue it. It's Aurelien Barré-Pantre who wins the final stage of the Tour of the Alps. Tenth victory of the season for Decathlon, as you does Alain Mondial. It's not even May and they've got more than they achieved in the entire 2023 season. Barré-Pantre wins a stage and Juan Pedro López wins a stage race for the first time in his pro career. It's victory for Decathlon Azure de Zala Mondial. And it's Aurelien Paribin with his first success of the season. Super stuff. 
And they've come searching for things this week, haven't they, Decathlon? Adam, they've been aggressive and they deserve to take something from the race as we see Thomas and Verón across the line. Yeah, not far behind. They do deserve to take something and a fine win indeed. I was, <laughs> I was watching polls then and thinking, this is early, this is early. And it looked like he realised that he went too early, tried to bide his time as he opened up the sprint. He might have thought that Tiberi was just behind him on his wheel. But this man off pulls his wheels like an absolute rocket ship. Aurélien Paribaintre wins the fifth and final stage of the Tour of the Alps. And there's something about racing in Italy for him. Giro d'Italia stage winner last year. And he's done it on the final day here. It's Pache Pantra ahead of Tiberi and his brother, Valentin Pache Pantra. How about that? The two brothers in the top three on the day together. <laughs> Valdez fourth, Pauls is fifth with Zana, Rodriguez, Fabro, Lopez and Stora. And this is how the sprint played out. There's Pauls on the right hand side, you said. For your marking going too early, Adam. Yeah, I think so. You could just tell at this point here, it just looks like he backs off. You can see everyone just waiting in the saddle. You can see Diberi just waiting, waiting, waiting. This is a point where he goes, and I think Paul's tried to just re-accelerate here ever so slightly, but he went like a rocket off that wheel. Watch Diberi in the background. His brother, Barry Pantra, still not in shot yet. He'll come up like an absolute rocket ship on the right-hand side soon. There he is, coming, following the wheels. Oof. Almost a Paris Pantre 1 2. Very close. Mum and Dad will be happy. I'm sure they are anyway, obviously. <laughs> well, the Valentin Paris Pantre third place there is important because it moves him up in the GC above Roman Bardet as well because he takes the bonus seconds. So, Valentin Paris Pantre has finished fourth ahead of Roman Bardet in the GC. Tiberi's on the podium. He takes the Best Young Rider award. Ben on a second. And what about Juan Pedro Lopez? Ten days in the Mallorca a couple of years ago. A lot of pressure being a Spaniard chasing GC. Didn't quite go for him in the 18 months following that brilliant Giro d'Italia performance. But this week, he's taken a first pro win. He has taken a first GC win. And little trek alongside Juan P. Lopez can be delighted. Oh, with the lake in the background, let's get a full check on the final stage. Aurélien Paré-Pantre wins after almost three hours of racing. He beats Antonio Tiberi to the line, had his younger brother, Valentin Paré-Pantre, in third. Another Frenchman, Valde, fourth with Pauls fifth, Zana Rodriguez, Fabro Lopez, who's the overall winner, and Stora making up the top ten on the day. Stage victory goes to Decathlon Agé de Zala Mondial. It is their tenth victory of the season. And Lidl Trek take the overall with Juanpe Lopez.